Who is going to be your interim coach as you go through the search and any chance that person could end up being the permanent head coach? Yeah, we haven't made a decision um, on an interim yet. And frankly, I think we may approach it a little bit differently. This, this staff is so well structured and the responsibilities are so well understood. I feel less of a need to have a designated interim. Um, but if we, if as the search progresses, if we feel a need to put somebody in that position, they would not be a candidate for the job. You know, you mentioned that you felt like Notre Dame was in a really good place. What do you need to do? What are the next steps you need to do in terms of timetable, in terms of recruits, to make sure there's not kind of a half step back here as you're looking for new leadership? Um, the first and foremost is getting the right leader. And, and so, yeah, I recognize the, the external factors, if you will, you know, the recruiting calendar and transfer portals. But none of that is a reason not to make sure that we run a process that gets the very best person to lead this program forward. So that'll be our focus. It seems like Brian had at least one or more conversations with USC and then very obviously had one or more conversations to get to this point with LSU. Um, did, did he discuss those conversations with you? Did you get the sense there was something he was looking for that either he didn't believe he could find at Notre Dame or that Notre Dame could not deliver to him? Yes, uh, he did not discuss with me the conversations he had with other universities. Um, we always are talking about the program's needs and how to improve it. And there, there was not anything identified at any time uh, that was something we could not accommodate or meet. Um, we just simply didn't have those things come up. Did he give you any opportunity to try to convince him to stay or to match LSU's offer? And then the um, last one for me would be, what are, in addition to what Eric asked, what, what are some of the defining characteristics that you will look for as you go through this process? And will you use a search firm? Yeah. Um, if, if we will conduct the search, the University of Notre Dame, and, and, and I will lead that search. If, if we use any outside resources, it will be for administrative purposes, background checks, maybe, you know, booking my travel under a different name, all the things that, uh, that, 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 that try and mislead you guys a little bit, keep you off my tail. But, um, no, we will, we will take the lead on the search. Um, no, Brian did not um, come to me, um, which, frankly, I appreciated, with some opportunity to match uh, the offer. When we talked, he indicated that he was resigning um, to take another position. Um, he thanked me for the opportunity the university had provided to him, thanked me for our friendship, which I very much appreciated, um, and I wished him all the best. And we talked a little bit about um, how, today, how today would work.